Duncan J. Watts, everything is obvious, how common sense fails us. In Everything is Obvious, How Common Sense Fails Us, author Duncan J. Watts reveals the surprising limitations of common sense when attempting to solve complex problems. Delving into fields like urban planning, financial expertise, and history, this book summary will outline how our ingrained beliefs can lead to misguided and, at times, disastrous decisions. Prepare to explore how factors such as cultural one differences, psychological biases, and circular reasoning can make our common sense understanding flawed. Discover how adopting uncommon sense rooted in scientific methods and strategic flexibility can help us overcome these challenges. The Fluidity of Common Sense Common sense, a set of shared beliefs that guide our everyday actions, can vary greatly based on cultural background. While it covers essential aspects of our lives, such as etiquettes and fairness, its interpretation is not fixed. The ultimatum game, for instance, demonstrates the cultural influence on our perception of common sense. Players in Western societies typically divide the pot equally, while those in Machiganga tribe of Peru offer 25%. The O and Gao tribes of Papua New Guinea propose more than 50% shares, only to see them rejected. Common sense, therefore, is not a singular truth but rather a construct shaped by one society, bringing unexpected outcomes when invoked to solve problems. Common sense pitfalls Common sense is a practical asset when navigating daily problems, but it can be misleading when tackling more significant, societal issues. Decision makers, like politicians and urban planners, often rely on common sense, which leads to major mistakes. For instance, the urban planners of the Robert Taylor Homes constructed public housing based on supposedly improving resident socioeconomic status, but their assumptions proved inadequate. The complex developed into a poverty-stricken and gang-ridden area instead. We often approach societal matters with intuition because of our personal experiences and immersion in society. However, this predisposes us to flaws in our decision-making processes. It's crucial to recognize that adopting evidence-based approaches, as we practice in the physical world, can be more fruitful when addressing complex social problems. Unconscious biases shape choices. Often, people unknowingly follow the default choices made available to them, allowing psychological factors to sway their decision-making process. Prime examples of such influences include priming, which uses stimuli to affect an individual's actions, and anchoring, which establishes an arbitrary reference point to manipulate the person's estimates. These biases cloud our judgments, making us assume that we're acting rationally or basing decisions on common sense. However, these assumptions can lead to misinterpretations of others' behavior, as we don't realize how profoundly such biases impact our choices. Recognizing these unconscious influences allows us to make better informed decisions and not fall prey to psychological manipulation. Mystifying Mona Lisa's Fame The Mona Lisa, a prominent artwork in Western culture, has been the subject of numerous debates. Often, our reasoning about its significance tends to be circular, a logical fallacy where the conclusion justifies itself. A better explanation for the painting's fame and enduring popularity can be found in the concept of cumulative advantage. This phenomenon argues that once something gains initial popularity, it continues to grow more popular over time. Research demonstrates that social influence plays a pivotal role in the ratings and appreciation given to various forms of art. The eternal question remains, what makes the Mona Lisa so special? While it's undeniably captivating, Aren't there other artworks equally deserving of attention? Attempting to decipher the painting's enigmatic allure often leads us down a path of circular reasoning, a logical fallacy where we end up using the conclusion to justify itself. For instance, one might argue that the Mona Lisa's importance lies in its mysteriously expressive subject or its connection to a notorious art heist. But in reality, Asserting that the Mona Lisa is famous because it possesses these attributes is a reinforcement of circular reasoning. We're essentially claiming that it's famous just because it's famous. Instead of falling into this trap, 
an alternative explanation for the Mona Lisa's overwhelming success and popularity can be found in the concept of cumulative advantage. This theory posits that once something, like a painting, book, or song, gains initial popularity, it's likely to continue growing more popular over time. A compelling example of this phenomenon can be seen in a study conducted by the author and his colleagues. In a large-scale online experiment, participants were asked to rate their enjoyment of various songs. One group could see the number of times songs had been downloaded by previous participants, whereas the other group couldn't access this information. The results revealed that social influence, as indicated by the number of downloads, significantly impacted the participants' song ratings. Ultimately, this demonstrates how cumulative advantage and social influence contribute to the enduring fame of something, even a painting as enigmatic as the Mona Lisa. Debunking Network Influencer Myths The renowned Six Degrees of Separation concept originated from a psychological experiment in 1967, where it took on average six connections to pass a message from one person to another. This led to the belief that networks rely on hubs or key influencers to function smoothly. However, recent experiments have challenged this view, revealing that real-life networks are more egalitarian and treat individuals more or less equally. Thus, everyone plays a crucial role in spreading information, debunking the idea of depending exclusively on influencers for reach. In 1967, Stanley Milgram's experiment laid the foundation for the popular notion of six degrees of separation. He observed that it took six connections, on average, for a message to be passed between people. Additionally, Milgram found that most messages went through one of three particular individuals. This spurred the belief that networks function effectively due to key influencers or hubs. For instance, in marketing, the focus is often on persuading well-connected individuals to use a product and hoping they will spread its popularity. Contradicting this view, more recent experiments utilizing real-life networks have demonstrated their egalitarian nature, relying less on key influencers and treating individuals almost equally. With this new understanding, we recognize that each person holds a significant role in disseminating information. Consider the marketing strategy where Kim Kardashian was paid $10,000 per tweet to promote products, perhaps a more efficient approach would have been to pay $1 to 10,000 ordinary individuals to share the message. Common Sense Clouding History Our innate curiosity often drives us to explore history, but our common sense can become an obstacle in truly understanding past events. Typically, we assume a direct cause and effect relationship between historical events, despite a lack of evidence. For example, some may attribute the decrease in violence in Iraq during 2007 to a surge of troops, neglecting other contributing factors, such as the increased involvement of the Iraqi army. Moreover, we often search for simplistic narratives to describe historical events, failing to recognize that those who lived through them couldn't have possibly predicted their long-term consequences and might have interpreted the events differently. Consequently, our interpretations of historical events are more like fictional stories, captivating to read or listen to but far from the true essence of past lived experiences. Unraveling Flawed Predictions Financial experts often provide advice and make predictions with confidence, but things don't always go as planned and followers may suffer losses. This arises due to the innate inadequacy of relying solely on common sense in predicting the future. With too many interdependent factors, multiple possible futures exist, and it is near impossible to anticipate which aspects will matter most and how events will unravel. This deficiency in forecasting capabilities demands the adoption of better strategies. Many times, financial experts appear confident in their future predictions, encouraging investors to follow their advice with promises of huge gains. However, recipients of such guidance often suffer significant losses when their expectations go awry. Notwithstanding these missteps, these experts carry on with extravagant forecasts. Why do they think they can predict the future, and what causes them to consistently miss the mark? The root of the problem lies in the belief that only one possible future exists, which can be accurately predicted by thorough examination of current data. 
However, the reality is that many interacting and interdependent factors create a complex and dynamic landscape for society. This widespread notion of a single future is an oversight, in actuality, countless possible futures arise due to the butterfly effect of small changes. Take the finance sector, for example, subtle alterations in political or regulatory terrain can drastically alter our financial outlook. Relying on common sense may seem reasonable, but it only prompts us to put our energy into predicting futures that appear significant. Unfortunately, assessing the importance of factors prior to their occurrence is next to impossible. The true impact of such events can only be recognized after the consequences have unfolded. One of the most glaring examples of this predicament came before the tragic events of 9-11. Nobody predicted that terrorists armed with simple box cutters could hijack planes and crash them into the World Trade Center. This disastrous consequence exposed a blind spot in our foresight. To truly improve our predictive capabilities, we must recognize the limitations of our common sense and develop more effective strategies for forecasting future events. Harnessing Prediction Markets Prediction markets, which average out bets placed on a specific event's likelihood, can provide accurate forecasts by harnessing the wisdom of crowds. This method effectively cancels out errors and works well for predicting events like elections and sports results. However, it falls short in the realm of significant, infrequent decisions by governments or corporations, where strategic flexibility and scenario planning is needed. Nevertheless, it is important to recognize that no predicted outcome can cover all possibilities, which is why it can be beneficial to prioritize responding to the present instead of solely focusing on forecasting the future. The quest for accurate forecasts has led to the development of prediction markets. In these markets, a crowd of individuals bet on the likelihood of a particular event happening. By averaging their predictions, a single, more accurate result is obtained. This approach often outperforms individual experts by tapping into the collective intelligence of the participants. Applicable to various fields, prediction markets shine in areas such as politics and sports, where their forecasting capabilities have repeatedly proven reliable. Nevertheless, this method's accuracy starts faltering when it comes to large, infrequent decisions made by governments or corporations. Prediction markets and statistical models simply lack the required data for such events. To tackle these situations, decision makers can adopt strategic flexibility, customizing unique strategies for different future possibilities. By preparing for multiple scenarios, organizations can better anticipate and buffer against potential negative outcomes. However, it's critical to remember that predictions cannot always capture every possible future. A classic example is a Houston-based oil field drilling company in 1980, which relied on three yield scenarios but suffered catastrophic losses when none of them accounted for a decrease in oil production. Despite the undeniable utility of predictions, it's important to acknowledge their limitations. As an alternative, one could emphasize the value of effectively responding to the present rather than solely fixating on foreseeing the future. Measure and React, a winning strategy. Instead of relying on forecasting predictions, leading fashion retailer Zara embraces a measure and react strategy to stay ahead in the competitive market. By observing current consumer trends, creating small batches of new styles, monitoring sales, and quickly adjusting their inventory, Zara achieves success. This versatile approach can be applied across various sectors, including the internet, where high activity enables an effective measure and react implementation. However, this method may not suit every decision-making scenario, and leveraging local knowledge can provide alternative data-driven solutions. Rather than investing time and resources into predicting next year's trends, a successful fashion company may find it more beneficial to adopt a measure and react strategy. That entails observing what consumers currently enjoy wearing, developing a small batch of new styles inspired by those preferences, and assessing the responses to these styles in selected stores. The key is to rapidly react by discarding styles that fail to garner interest and ramping up production for popular items, ensuring the business remains ahead of the curve. While this strategy may have primarily emerged from the world of fashion, it proves equally fruitful in other sectors, 
with the internet offering a prime environment for this approach. A prime example is Google and Yahoo accurately estimating the number of influenza cases by tracking search queries for terms like flu and flu shots. This method closely mirrors the statistics reported by health agencies, such as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. However, not all situations lend themselves to the Measure and React strategy, particularly when making significant strategic policy or business decisions. In such cases, employing local knowledge becomes essential, an approach that draws on the expertise of those closest to the changes being made. For instance, when optimizing a factory assembly line, gathering insights directly from workers helps identify problems and their root causes. More importantly, these workers can offer proven solutions, thereby providing a scientific foundation for decision-making processes. Luck's Role in Life's Outcome The way we perceive fairness is often influenced by the resulting outcome of events, usually driven by random luck rather than intentions. Our lives can change drastically due to a myriad of seemingly chance encounters and opportunities, which in turn shape our societal standing. Such significant influence of luck on our success and position challenges our common-sense understanding of justice and forces us to explore ways of creating a fairer society. When a drowsy driver accidentally causes harm, society's response usually hinges on the severity of the consequences. If the outcome is grave, such as the death of a child, the driver faces condemnation and imprisonment. However, if nothing happens, the same driver would befall a far milder judgment. This proves that our concept of fairness is heavily influenced by our knowledge of outcomes, which are often determined by luck. Life's unpredictable nature presents its challenges and opportunities, making it essential to acknowledge that luck significantly impacts our societal standing. Studies reveal that talented individuals can experience vastly divergent success stories based on the random events they encounter. Meeting an employer at a party and landing the ideal job is an exemplary lucky break. As luck's huge role in our lives becomes apparent, it is necessary to reconsider its implications on fairness and justice. Philosopher John Rawls suggests that a just society must strive towards minimizing the effects of luck-induced inequality. The underlying challenge lies in achieving this balance, and one must forego using common sense as the sole criterion while deliberating on questions of fairness and justice. Cultivating Uncommon Sense In the quest to understand human behavior, relying on common sense has often led to misconceptions and oversimplification. While grand social theories fall short, the advent of widespread online activity provides immense data sources for a more scientific approach. Through this information, we can observe and measure large group and societal behaviors in real time. By applying uncommon sense rooted in scientific methods, we can better decipher the complex influences behind phenomena like hit songs in the music market. To effectively replace common sense reasoning, we must continually employ innovative techniques and maintain vigilance in our pursuit of deeper understanding. Duncan J. What's everything is obvious. How common sense fails us challenges the idea that common sense always leads to the best decisions. By examining how cultural differences, cognitive biases, and predetermined narratives can cloud our judgment, we understand that a shift towards leveraging scientific methods and strategic flexibility is crucial. While our common sense might be helpful in our day-to-day -day life, it is important to recognize its shortcomings rely on evidence-based approaches, and learn to harness the wisdom of crowds to predict or react to the ever-evolving world.